If you're ready to move out of your parents' house, but you don't know how to tell them, then this video's for you. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Philip. And we teach you what you need to know about being a grown-up. Because adulting shouldn't suck. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that bell so you can get the notifications when we put out some new videos. And the comments below, let us know what you guys are worried about when it comes to telling your parents you want to move out. In this video, we're going to give you some good tips on how to tell your parents that you're ready to move out. When it was time for us to tell our parents that we were ready to move out, the conversation was short and simple. Hey, we're going to move out. For me personally, I didn't care if my mom was with it or against it because I was going to move out either way. My mom and I didn't have the best relationship when I was a teenager. I mean, we didn't like hate each other, but we were always arguing, always fighting, and we you know it was ready time for me to move out. So that's what I did. And I didn't need her approval. I didn't need her blessing. And that's just what was going to happen. It's easy for me. I was one of eight kids. And my dad's role was as soon as you hit 18, you're out. And I had a good relationship with my parents, but it didn't matter. You're 18, you're an adult, get out. Bye. This might be how your situation could go. It could be like mine. It could be like Phillip's. could be totally different. I don't know. Maybe you want their approval before you leave the house and you don't want to offend them. Or maybe your parents don't want you to leave the house. And if you leave, they're going to disown you or they're going to cut you off financially and not help you out at all. I don't know. I personally think that if you're ready to move out, then your parents' blessing is just like icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. You should be able to do this move without their help. I mean, if you get their help, then awesome. But you should <laughs> be able to do it without their help. I mean, that's way. part of being an adult, right? Right. You don't need mom and dad's help all the time anymore? Yeah. Because They'll come kid. around. You know, you have to go out there and figure it out and take the experience on for yourself mm -hmm. and hopefully they're there with you. But if they're not, then they'll come around eventually. Everybody's situation is different, right? Like sometimes you got to burn that bridge so you can find out you can swim. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't want to burn that bridge because you still need them financially. Yeah. Because you're scared. If you're moving out of your parents' house for the first time, having their blessing can really help. Getting their guidance can really mean the difference between you failing or succeeding. But it's not just that. If you're getting ready to move out, like I had already said, you should be able to do this on your own. You should be at that point where you've saved up your money, you've done the research, and you're ready to do this. And you can do that with or without their support. If you guys need help on how to get out of your parents' house, we have a 12-step program to help you get out of your parents' house. The link's gonna be in the description below. It's a great downloadable checklist that you can use to make sure that you've done all of the things that you need to do to get out of your parents' house, and it even comes with a video. So make sure you watch it. And it's free. And it's free. If you're ready to let your parents know that you're gonna be moving out, then following these tips will hopefully help you have that conversation go the way that you want it to go. First tip, you're going to want to think about how the conversation is going to play out with your parents. You should probably have a decent understanding or expectation of what the conversation is going to go like. You're going to be like, mom and dad, I'm ready to move out. And they're either going to freak out, they're going to be like, hmm, or they're just going to faint and fall over. It could be a lot of different things, but you should know what they're uh, reaction is going to be and knowing what their reaction is going to be is going to help you prepare your rebuttals for whatever they're going to throw at you in that conversation super important step right here i mean if, if you haven't prepared at all they're going to not take you seriously oh yeah if they know that you've been saving up money and preparing you know you got your first and last months uh, plus your deposit saved up for when you move out for an apartment or whatever it's gonna be a lot different of a conversation than yeah i just want to move out mom i have no plan yeah. I'm going to move out. Mm -hmm. They're like, Timmy, you ain't um, got a job. I'm 18. I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm moving I'm out. I'm an adult. What have you planned on mm -hmm. and made choices financially to be an adult? I yeah. don't know, but I'm doing it. Yeah. That's, that's not probably going to go very well. Right. At this point of your plan, which is the first part of the conversation, you should have already done A, B, and C to get you up here. So mm -hmm. you already have all of this stuff prepared. So it's not like a big surprise for your parents. Yeah. But if you don't. We got a whole playlist on that oh, about moving out. God, we do. So you're going to want to let your parents know that you want to have a conversation with them. Don't just do it, you know, willy-nilly, randomly. Hey, Mom, I want to move out. Set it up. Maybe one day after dinner, 
Uh, they get home from work and you guys are all eating together or after dinner, whatever. People tend to take conversations or have conversations better when they're full versus if they're hangry. I don't think those, those go well for anybody. So just let them know in advance, hey, I want to I want to have a conversation. So think about it. Don't just throw it on them. Or maybe if you guys don't have a time where you can get together during the week and have dinner, maybe on a weekend. So think it out before you just throw it out there. Yeah. Taking the time to actually figure out when you're going to have this conversation, when they're not overly busy or when they're not stressed out about something else is really going to affect the way the conversation is going to go. So you really want to put some effort into figuring out the right time and place to tell your parents that you want to have a conversation. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tell them what you want to do and why. So it's time to break the news. You're sitting down, you're talking with your parents. You just got to do it. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, count to three, open it, open your eyeballs and send it. Mom and dad, I want to break up. I mean, what? I want to move out. Pause for a second. Let the hysterical screaming and crying and panic kind of flow through the room. Give it about 5, 10, 15, 30 seconds for it to die out. Be like, mom and dad, I want to move out. I'm ready to move out. I need to move out because I think it'll help me develop as a person and as an individual. It'll help me be a responsible adult for the rest of my life. I need to move out and I need to do it for myself. That's how the conversation does. And then pause and then let them absorb what you just told them. Man, you're talking about like the crying and the, you know, all the emotions flowing. Telling your parents, yo, when my all my siblings are moving out, I was a good kid. <laughs> that says a lot. But when all my other siblings are moving out and I was younger watching them have these types of conversations, it was like, <laughs> it's a celebration. Get out. Yeah. Get out. Mm -hmm. There was no tears flowing. Was, yeah. We're going to save a lot of money now. All right. So the next part is set up a timeline of when you're going to be moving out. So if you want to get out and you tell them, I don't know, six months from now, you're going to be moving out, try to stick to that the best you can. Because if it takes nine months or you go beyond that and it's a year, they're going to be like, yo, little Timmy, I thought you were getting out yo, you know, six months ago. I thought you said you were going to do this. I thought you was ready to be an adult. Mm, oh, I, <laughs> yeah. You hurt your credibility oh, before you even get out of the house. Not good. When you're talking with your parents, you're going to want to tell them what you've already accomplished financially especially if you have strict or overprotective parents. This is going to be the thing that is going to like make or break the conversation for you, especially if your parents are like super overprotective or strict. You're going to have to show them and tell them what you've done to get to this point, how much money you have saved up, how much it's going to cost you to move out, where you're looking to move, how much rent's going to be, so on and so forth. I mean, you might even go as far as showing handouts in this conversation. Be like, here, mom and dad, look it. This is how much money I've saved. This is how much it's going to cost to move out. This is how long it's taken me to save this much money. This is how much money I make every single month and all that type of stuff. Because, I mean, this right here, if your parents are super strict or super overprotective, you're going to have to sell them that you are capable of taking care of yourself as a grown-up. And if your parents yell and cry and scream and act that way, just know it's going to be a bumpy ride. You're going to have to buckle up. It's not going to be an easy conversation, but you got to be the bigger person. You can't get mad. You can't get defensive. You just have to show them you are ready. And then it's not against them. You know, you don't hate them, hopefully. Hopefully. Right? You're not trying to, to leave them and, and break up with them. Because, I mean, if they're going to cry and, and be that mad, they probably care about you a lot. And they don't want you to leave. But you got to spread your wings and fly. You got to get out on your own. And if you have a solid plan that you can show them, it's going to make those conversations go a lot easier when you're trying to take the high road and not get emotional yeah. during that time. Can't stress this enough. You got to remain calm. I mean, if your parents uh, yell and scream and they're going to try and guilt trip you, you have to remain calm. You can't give into the conversation and start yelling and screaming back. It's not going to go well. And it's going to be a useless conversation that you're going to have to have again at a later time. So stay calm. Hold your ground.
If you guys are looking for a plan to help you guys get out of your parents' house, Alex and I created the GTFO plan. If you guys wanna check it out, the link is gonna be in the description below. So click on it, give it a look, you're gonna like it. If your parents are asking questions, that's good. They might give you some feedback that's beneficial, that can help your move be successful. They might be asking questions that you haven't thought of yet. And try not to get defensive when they're asking you these questions. They care about you and they just wanna know that you're actually prepared to be an adult. So the last part of this is give your parents the opportunity to be involved. Ask them for advice. You'd be surprised what they have to say. Hopefully it's good advice. <laughs> it might be outdated, but you'd be surprised. Even if they don't come off like they're supportive of you moving out, they probably still wanna help you in some way, form or fashion. So maybe invite them to come look at the different apartments or houses that you're looking at or ask them, hey, uh, can I have the old couch You know, that's in the house? I don't really wanna buy one, but you'd be really helping me out as a young adult moving out of the house if I don't have to pay for some of this furniture. So just ask them you know, to be a part of the process and they might be better off with it. Remember that this is gonna be like a bittersweet moment for your parents. Mm -hmm. They've been preparing you to be an adult your entire life, but also you're still their little baby that they see uh, you know, running around at two years old. So for you to move out, it's hard for them, but it's also like a proud parent moment that they've prepared their child well enough to go out and be an adult in the real world. So it's a slippery slope for them. So just be patient, have a conversation a couple times if you have to but hold your ground, let them know what you wanna do, and, and be do calm, it. and do it. If you like this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. In the comments below, let us know how you imagine your conversation's gonna go with your parents when you tell them you wanna move out. And we'll see you in the next video.